Hey guys, it's Cugsley, and welcome back to another video. So, I th this is gonna be like one of at least like two videos that are coming out, maybe three. So I'm just gonna cut straight into it. So first thing I want to show you guys, and the reason I'm making it into three videos is because of the fact that they're like three very different things, just like completely off topic from each other. So I don't want to cram into one video, otherwise it's gonna be a complete mess. So first thing I'm excited about, I've created Potato. During a stream I did, like, an hour ago, I made this beautiful potato. Look at that. It has little potato eyes and little potato leaves on its potato. That's... that's literally it for that part. Alright, next thing I want to show you guys is I'm working on adding an SCP-1499-1 into the game. Um, now... Currently, it's very early in its development, right? I, I've never tried making a body type that's not skeletal, or like, you know, um, Im not, not, not impoverished, it's like, oh wow. <laughs> I've never made a body type of an impoverished man. Now, I've never made a body type of like a, you know, skin and bones kind of stuff, like, uh, other than that, right? So making something that's not that is going to be a little difficult, but we'll see what I get. And then finally, no, I would not. I, no. And finally, the biggest thing I've done is I've added an update to SCP Site Redacted, the main thing here. And what I've added is the version 0.1.1.2, the dark update. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of running out of names here. I was gonna do the Keter update, then I remembered I already did the Keter update, so I decided to name it the Breached update, and then I remembered I already named it the Breached update, and you know what, I just went it's a dark update, woo, right? It's adding some edgy names there, but let me show you what I've added here. Uh, there's quite a bit. I'm not sh I'm not gonna get through everything in this video, but because there's a lot, and I guess it leaves some to the imagination, I guess. But if I could, I would show you everything. So it's not like I'm not like holding back. It's at least 30 minutes of gameplay to show literally everything in the game. So let me turn off the lo-fi here. And turn up the music so you can just kind of hear the background of that. Right about there should be good. Maybe maybe three. So, a few things I've changed. Uh, first, is I've added this new save mechanic. Perfect time to test that. Watch this. Game saved. Oh, I'm still alive. Let's go over here then. Game saved. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that now, publicly, available for everyone to try out and play, is the new working save mechanic. So, I died, I'm gonna load game. Alright, it'll first load in the map, then it'll load in my position, determined by that percentage point right there. The closer the percentage is to zero, the more accurate your uh, your saved position is loading. So, typically it loads between, like, at most 3% and 0 0.05, I believe. So, it, it's pretty accurate. Um, now, the percentage is based off of the distance. So the closer you saved to where your character is supposed to spawn in at the start of the map, the larger the percentage error will be because of the fact that it has less to work with. But it's still really accurate. Alright, so there's that. I have also added in a really cool new SCP. Well, actually I've added in a few cool SCPs. Um, 096 is now in the game. SCP-895, the SCP that I absolutely despise, is also in the game now. Um, I've also updated the, the, like, the damage system, the injury system, where, like, if you get hit by, say, 966, or if you get hit by one of the 049-2, if you get punched, essentially, if you get, like, if you're bleeding, um, now, you can't just, like, leave the game and come back, or you can't just, like, save and then leave and come back. Um, actually, fun fact, I added in a special parameter if you, if the player were to save while they're injured, just to be extra... Extra cruel, uh, yeah, extra cruel about it. So, oh, I looked away from the screen for one moment, and I see that. Okay, so I'm really excited right now, which is why I'm stuttering a little more than usual. So I do hope you can forgive me for that. All right, but so essentially now, if you get injured, um, it will remember that you were injured, and if you leave and come, did I just see fourteen? Yeah, I did. And let's say that you leave and then you come back, right? So you have to load the game. Um, you're, ever, you're okay. But if you save while you're injured, it will actually save that you were injured. And it will save the progression of your injury. So you can't save scum. 
Uh, if you get injured and you save, you've just caught yourself in a death loop. I hope you can find a medkit before then. Uh, there is a glitch with items where they'll respawn every time you load in. That's not really a glitch, it's more like a, a, for, like, like a lack of foresight. Uh, and also a lack of, you know, space to add in the logic to stop that from happening. Because that, that'd be pretty difficult. Because each item would have to have its own uh, kind of spawn logic. But yeah. So technically you could get yourself out of a death loop if you were close enough to a med kit, but if you're unlucky then or if you're if you're not extremely lucky, you're gonna get you're gonna get caught in the death loop. So there's that. Um I've also added it Hey, you're over here now. So I said that I added it in 096 and I added in eight nine five and I added in a cool death loop. Uh, well not uh, well yeah, death loop's part of it. But I added in a, a cool update to the injury animations. I also added in a really cool SCP I've been working on for a while. Now it's only a demo, uh, which is why I made it to where you cannot save when you're in that area. That way if you die or if you get to the end of the demo, you can load your game and pop right back as if you never went in there. Which I wanted it to be like that because I don't wanna like, you know, rob the player of their game that they may have spent who knows how many hours on because of the fact that they went into this one demo area, right? And I'm about to show you what... Okay. Now I'm about to show you what that demo is. Also, I'm about to go into a Tesla gate backwards. Skills. Okay. So, here we go. He's not going to get to me in time. Alright. SCP-087. I think you guys already may have seen that. But, yeah. It, it, it's SCP-087. Now, if I save right here, I'll be okay. But basically, it says right here, To avoid possible 087-1 breach, containment doors automatically close. Do not enter unless staff are present in the control room. So basically, if you, go in, if you open this lever and go in there before the doors close back up again, you are stuck in there. Canonically. Um... Literally, you are not because you can just either reset the game or you can load your you load your save if you have a save outside of this. But you cannot save when you go in here. So let, let, let me show you. All right. So you go in, and it'll load it because of the fact that the 087 is a whole new thing. Now you cannot play this 087 separately from the rest of the SCP game. You do have to play this. But yeah, here it is. And there's no saving. I'm, I'm pressing the save button, but nothing happens. That's because this button here, the button that you use to save, is actually a button that's used for something else in this area. Now, as of right now for the demo, there are numbers on the walls telling you the floor. Uh, I will be getting rid of those once I finish the full 087 game. Right now it's about halfway finished, so it's getting there. But those are actually mainly just for me, so I know what floors are where. Because I, I, I try to space out events in here to make sure that there aren't too large of an empty space between areas or uh, that nothing's too close together so just to make sure everything is balanced and yeah I won't go too far down because of the fact that I don't really want to show you I don't want to spoil too much and that oh pardon me okay then I know what's going on huh that's a bit of a that's a bit of a problem isn't it so let me go out of here that's a problem with the view See this guy right here, a uh, view corner. Or can I can I edit? Hold on, how do I? I guess I have to go into this here to make it not visible, right? Yeah, always invisible. There we go. I think if I save it like that, just yeah, make it playable. Yeah, make it playable. There we go. I'm not even gonna add an update log to that. That's just a, a small little thing there. So that was just stopping me from going into the menu screen because it was taking me there instead, which is not good. But now I can load my game. So that's that's problem solved. Alrighty. Eh. Well then, huh? That's an interesting one. Hmm. It appears to me there's a small problem. Don't know why it did that. But that is interesting. Okay then. I think it may have something to do with a variable I may have forgotten to delete in the character's uh, save chip, but you know what? Warning, if you go in 087, you're, you're kind of dedicated to going down the staircase. I guess I made it a bit too realistic there, huh? But 
yeah, so a lot of updates there. Um, I I do want to show a little bit more, but I don't know what to do. I guess there's one else, like one other thing I can show here. So then after that, I'm going to stop the video because I don't want this running on for too long. So the one last thing I want to show, which is mainly uh, something that I appreciate a lot, that I'm really happy that I finally added in after doing after postponing it for so long. But maybe you guys won't notice it, or maybe you'll think that it's a glitch, I guess, but it's not. So in, in SCP Containment Breach, you know, on the PC, the elevators, uh, they work as you'd expect them to work. You, oh, oh, hey there, friend. Well, uh, huh, yes. Actually, no, just no. Okay, where, where? Okay, okie dokie. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. He ain't gonna get to me in time. Okay, so uh, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, elevators. So the elevators work as you'd expect them to, right? You you go in the elevator, you you close the door, you press the button, and it you know takes you down. Now, the thing is, it takes time for an elevator to take you down to the floor, and also you know the, you expect the elevators to work. Uh, and for the longest time, that wasn't the case for my game. What would happen is you'd press the button. And you'd immediately be, you know, sent to the level link and brought to the new level, or to the new scene. And that was that was fine, right? I, but it wasn't what I wanted. Uh, I did it like that because I'm gonna be honest. I was I was pretty lazy about it. And I was like, you know what? I just want the elevator to do what I want it to do with all the without all the fancy bells and whistles added. And that proved detrimental to both the the game and to really my ability to update it because the logic for the elevators were atrocious um they were wires all over the place crossing here uh just parallel it, it was all over the place right and recently i i went in and i completely redid the elevators um i fixed the logic for the standard elevator also the, st the standard elevator being this type of elevator with the white walls and then i just copied the logic over into a new asset also don't mind the little texture error there. That's like low priority, but I will fix that. Don't worry, don't worry, eventually. But yeah, so I updated the elevators now. Watch this, let's say I leave the door open, right? Without fail, it will close that door. It'll lock it, it'll beep, and you'll hear a little rumble, a little kind of hum as it goes down, and then it will load. So it takes time now, and I really like that. And if the door is already closed, you will hear the door actually close again because of the fact that I did wire the sound a little uh, cheaply. I probably could have worked on that a bit better, but that's a small uh, thing. It's It it functions. Now we're on to like fine details. Like, oh, you know, that sound shouldn't play in there. Let's, let's, you know, postpone that sound, right? Or let's do this or do that. So it's gotten much simpler. And I've updated the door systems. So uh, although they work the same, they're cheaper, uh, barely cheaper, but they are. The, the door chip that I have uh, works so much better now. It's been optimized to to really be able to process things really fast. So it's no longer, um, well, you, you guys probably never noticed it when you used it, if you did use it, but it was very, very unorganized and a lot of parts were you know, redundant. So it wasn't very efficient. So I've added all that in and yeah, this game has had a huge update now. Uh, it run. It probably runs slightly smoother because of the fact that I was able to, you know, shave a little bit off of the gameplay and graphics, but not too much. But what's really important is I've added in cool SCPs like 096, 895. Um, let's see here. I added in 087. That's nice. Uh, I updated some of the other SCPs as well. I'm consider. Okay. I'm considering updating 1499. It's just going to be all over the place. There's going to be. Maybe not updates in rapid succession, but definitely updates planned for the future. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm sorry for making this video too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it though, right? And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So let me just grab this paper and this battery and this key card and bye-bye.